Hey Buzzy, what's up today? Hello Lena. Today we are going to talk about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence? I'm not sure I understand. Can you explain it to me? Sure, Lena. Simply put, AI or artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and learn like humans. Wow, so the machines can learn like a human? Exactly, just like a baby. If you teach a baby good things, they will become good, and if you teach them bad things, they will become bad. The same goes for AI. If you teach them good things, they will become good, but if you teach them bad things, they will become bad. There is a concept called GIGO. That means garbage in and garbage out in computer science and mathematics. The quality of output is determined by the quality of the input. So, it's our duty to teach AI responsibly to make them supportive of the betterment of humanity. That's interesting. Are there different types of AI? Yes, there are a few different types of AI, but the most well-known are rule-based AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Can you tell me more about these different types of AI? Sure, Lena. Rule-based AI uses a set of rules to make decisions. Machine learning uses data and algorithms to improve performance over time. And deep learning uses neural networks to perform tasks such as image and speech recognition. These are the basics. There are a lot more in the field of AI, which we will discuss another day. That sounds fascinating. I have heard of Terminator and Skynet. Are they real? No, they are fictional movies and should not be mixed with reality. You know? You are using AI every day, with or without knowing it. Really? I had no idea. Can you tell me more about the history of AI? The history of AI is a long one, but in short, in the late 1940s and 1950s, a group of scientists from different fields like mathematics, psychology, engineering, economics, and political science began to discuss the possibility of creating an artificial brain. The field of artificial intelligence research was officially founded as an academic discipline in 1956. That's so cool! Is there a way to learn more about AI? Of course, Lena! You can take a free course from IBM called AI for Everyone, Master the Basics on the X platform. You only have to pay if you want a certificate from the verified track, but you can learn for free on the audit track. Wow, that sounds amazing. I must check it out. Thank you for the information, Buzzy. You're welcome, Lena. Don't forget to check out the X platform. You will find the link in the video description and subscribe to our channel for more information on artificial intelligence. Hey Buzzy, it seems like AI is changing the world as we know it. What are some of the benefits of AI that you've seen? Hey Lena, yes indeed. AI is freeing us up from mundane tasks, providing insights that were once impossible, and revolutionizing the way we live and work. For instance, self-driving cars and virtual assistants are making our lives easier and more convenient. That's amazing! But I've also heard that AI can displace jobs and lead to increased inequality. Is this true? Unfortunately, yes! This is one of the challenges that come with the rapid development of AI. However, it's also important to note that AI can also create new jobs and industries that we haven't even imagined yet. That's a good point. What about the concern about AI being used for malicious purposes like cyber attacks or autonomous weapons? Absolutely. This is why responsible development and regulation of AI is crucial. We need to ensure that AI is used for the betterment of humanity and not for harm. I couldn't agree more. In conclusion, AI is definitely shaping the future and has the potential to greatly benefit humanity, but we need to be aware of the challenges it presents and address them in a responsible manner. You got it, Lena! AI is a double-edged sword and it's up to us to use it wisely. Now I have perfectly understood the basics of artificial intelligence. 
I want to know more about different types of AI. If you are also like me, please watch this video and don't forget to like this video. I am sure Buzzy will explain to me in simple terms like this one.